In episode 3 of Ragna Crimson, Ragna meets Crimson's servant, Slime. Crimson is visibly frustrated with Ragna's incomplete access to his future self's memories, as these memories only surface under specific conditions. The plot takes an intriguing turn when a group of hunters approaches Ragna, sharing information about a menacing dragon monarch named Dissas Troyes, who possesses the power to control tornadoes. Crimson introduces Ragna to the concept of Silverine Battle Arts, demonstrating its power by paralyzing Ragna temporarily, allowing him to recover from the considerable strain it places on his muscles. Crimson goes further, manipulating the minds of the hunters. He exploits their guilt over abandoning civilians during a previous crisis, and convinces them that they have been granted Ragna's powers. This mental manipulation introduces a compelling dynamic, as he equips them with modern weapons like machine guns and silverine bullets generated by Ragna's abilities. There is a pivotal moment of tension when Crimson raises concerns about Leonica, who serves as Ragna's sole motivation. He offers to drug her into a deep slumber until the war is over, a proposal that greatly angers Ragna and sparks a heated confrontation between the two. Crimson discloses an intriguing detail about Ragna's life, revealing that he is not cursed but has simply experienced a series of unfortunate events. As the story unfolds, Slime, Crimson's servant, discreetly observes Dissas, the dragon monarch, engaging in disturbing acts of torture against women. However, Slime keeps this unsettling information hidden from the hunters, fearing it might jeopardize their mission to save the captives. In a final twist, Crimson taunts Dissas, his bloodline, and the dragon god, hoping to provoke the mighty monarch into losing his temper and pursuing the hunters. And that's it for this episode, stay tuned for more. Thanks for watching.